Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. People think I have a real downer on alcohol and that I'm constantly telling people to stop and get sober. But that's actually far from the truth. I mean, alcohol was my best friend for many years to start with. It helped me in many situations. The purpose of this video is that I want to share with you some questions, some honest and serious questions that you need to ask yourself before attempting to get sober, whether you need to get sober or not. That's the first thing. See, there are many millions of people around the world who can just have one drink, enjoy a drink of alcohol, you know, to relax, a glass of wine with a meal, and it's not constantly on their mind and they're not constantly craving it. I mean, there's a lot of um, bad publicity around alcohol at the moment as the new science comes out, quite rightly. You know, the new science says that one drink, even one drink of alcohol is too much, that it's doing us serious harm. But there are many things around the world that do us serious harm. You know, we can't just demonise alcohol. However, some of us have a very dysfunctional relationship with alcohol. And the purpose of this video is for you to ask yourself the question, which I'm going to share with you in a minute, or the questions I'm going to share with you in a minute, to find out if your relationship is dysfunctional and you need to stop. Just before I do that, please, the channel needs a little bit of help and support at the moment, badly. Um, if you can just take a moment, spare a moment to read the Kofi link in the description, just click that link. It takes about a minute, two minutes to read. And if you feel like giving a little help and support, I'd really appreciate it. Be very, very grateful. And thanks so much for your help, those who have done that already. The thing is about your relationship with alcohol, there are some serious questions that you need to ask yourself before considering, you know, do I need to stop? Do I need to get sober? And then I also want to share with you what it will take to do that if you have this dysfunctional relationship. The first thing, and these are questions that I, I asked myself, I was in denial for many, many years. And there are many videos on this channel, so please subscribe and have a look back on them about the journey that I've had over the last seven years um, with alcohol and with drugs. The thing is, whenever I drank, there were always negative consequences. That's the first thing you need to ask yourself. Whatever the situation you're in, whether you're at home having a drink, whether you're out with friends, socialising, whether um, whatever the situation, just having it to unwind. Can you never stop at one drink? You know, does it always lead on and lead on to very negative consequences? Is it having, and you have to ask yourself this very honestly, because one of the first couple of things you're going to need for sobriety is starting to be honest with other people and being brutally honest with yourself. Ask yourself the question, is this having a negative impact on my relationships, on my job, on my finances, on my health, on my friendships? Because, you know, if you have a, a dysfunctional relationship with alcohol, the chances are that the answer will be yes to all those questions. And then you start need to have a serious look at yourself. You know, is my health suffering? Am I constantly feeling anxious? and depressed after I've been drinking? You know, uh, is this feeling of dread on me all the time? Am I having gut issues? Am I constantly feeling nauseous? Um, do I have co constant reflux? Um, am I shaking in the mornings, you know, after I've been? Uh, am I constantly hungover, you know, constantly lacking in energy and tired and bad tempered and irritable? And all these things after you've been drinking. Chances are the answers are yes to those questions. Then that's a dysfunctional relationship with alcohol. Another question you need to ask yourself, is it constantly on my mind? Am I constantly thinking about it? When's my next drink? 
Am I constantly craving that next drink, you know, and wishing away the minutes and the hours and the whatever it is till that next drink? You know, it's just literally all that's on my mind is that next drink. Another question, serious question. Another one is, um, am I using it to hide from my feelings and emotions? Am I using it as an emotional crutch? Am I using it to, um, con you know, to feel relaxed, to make myself relaxed in social situations, to give me confidence? Am I using it to hide from fear, fear of whatever that fear may be? Am I using it... Um, when I'm sad, when I'm happy, in every sort of emotional situation, am I using it to self-medicate my emotions and numb myself from any feeling at all? Am I using it to numb feelings from trauma that I may have had in the past or I'm, con I'm having now, you know, at this moment in time, you know, with relationships, with work, with whatever the trauma may be, you know, God forbid, illness, death, grief, um, you know, am I constantly using it as a crutch for that? That's another red flag. You know, can I can I not stop after one drink? Is always is always one that uh, is a big clue. You know, there, there are many of these. There are many of these red flags that you need to watch out for. You know, constantly craving it, constantly um, using it to hide from things. You know. Am I ha suffering sort of withdrawals in the morning? You know, do I wake up? I'm, am I shaking? Am I vomiting? Am I, you know, these are all, these are all red flags. You know, am I spending all my money on it? Am I going to lose my job because of it? Am I going to lose my home because of it? You know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You get the, you get what I'm talking about. So if the answer is yes to all those, then you need to have a serious look at getting sober. You know, then it's not a case of demonising alcohol. It's your relationship with alcohol with alcohol that's a, a fault. You're going to have to cure the reasons why you're turning to alcohol, definitely, to get sober. That's one thing that you will have to address early on in your sobriety. But to get sober, what does it take? Well, I'll tell you what it takes. It's not about motivation. It's not, motivation comes and goes. I've talked about this many times on the channel. You know, you can be motivated to get sober. You can see, you know, you can have dry January and sober October and all of these things and think, well, I'll give it this and you can cling on by the skin of your teeth, you know. Um, if you've got real issues around alcohol and you need to get sober, then you're going to have to address it seriously. It's not just a case of 28 days you know, it, it's one. You know, it's one day at a time, and it's not about motivation. It's about discipline. The first thing you need to do is to ask for help. You can't do it on your own. That's essential. Where that help comes from, twelve-step program, groups, friends, family, professional, doctor, whatever it comes from, doesn't matter. You know, you're going to need to ask for help. Then you're going to need discipline. Then you're going to need consistency. The two things that you can, do have control on: your thoughts and your actions. Discipline, consistency. So you repeat day in, day out, and every minute, every moment is uh, it, you're conquering and you're moving forwards is a win. Listen, you know it took me till I was sixty to get this. I'm not saying that, that you're not going to have setbacks. If you look back on the channel, I've had a lot of setbacks, but I never gave up. I always had hope, and I always tried again. Got up off the floor and kept moving forward. And that's what matters. And eventually it will stick. And I found the right group of people for me. I found the right recipe for me. I work on myself every single day. Diet, exercise, all things around that. Uh, mental health. You know, uh, I dealt with all my traumas from the past. I've addressed all that. That's what it takes. It takes that discipline and that consistency. It doesn't matter how old you are, how much in the shit you are, how hopeless it feels at the moment. I promise you there is a way out and you can find it, my friends. You know, if I did, you can. So uh, please ask yourself those serious questions. Be brutally honest with yourself. And if you need to stop, ask for help, find the discipline and find the consistency and just keep moving forward. If you get a setback, get up, carry on moving forward and eventually you'll get there. 
And I promise you, you'll find a peace, a freedom and a happiness you never knew was possible if you're in the ship. But I'm not demonising alcohol. Those of you out there who've, who can do that moderation thing or can just have that one drink and not think about it again, fair play to you. Good luck. I can't. I'm on the other side of the fence. Much love to you all. Please click the Kofi link and give the channel a bit of support. It really needs your help for me to carry on doing these. Much love. Please subscribe. Carpe diem. Seize the day today. Bye bye.